If you remember my plan, my obstacle, my fire, is going to go up and down just here to make sure that it's difficult for my person to get past. Okay, so we're going to look how to code that now. First of all, I need to do initialization. So I need my event, so when the green flag is clicked. And I want it to start exactly here. Now, do you remember how to start a sprite off in a particular uh, location we look at the coordinates we make sure that in our motion blocks the coordinates are the same yep yeah, one four three and minus one five six so we can put that straight in okay I've initialized it it doesn't really matter which way this is pointing um, because oh that's a good point actually I don't want this to turn around as it's traveling now because I'm going to use the glide function it won't turn around but if it did if I was using point in direction and I didn't want the sprite to turn around, I simply click in my direction box here and I could say click on this part which means do not rotate the sprite if it moves around the screen or only rotate it left and right. And I can click on one of those and it will make sure that my sprite is always that way up. However, I'm going to use the glide function and I want it essentially to go from here up to there and back again. So if you notice, the glide one second has got an X and a Y coordinate as well. So all I have to do is move my sprite where I want it to glide to, just there, and you'll see the X and the Y coordinate change for me. So I'll have that one, and I need to put it back again. Uh, and grab another one, glide one second. Now I wanted to keep doing this throughout my level. Okay, so for now I just need to make sure that I have got a loop in there that's going to keep telling this to glide. So I'm going to use a forever loop for now. I may have to change that later. Okay, let's put our glide in there and test it out. So there goes my fire. It's moving pretty quickly. If I wanted to slow that down, then I could just simply change the number of seconds it needs to glide too. So if we went for two seconds, it would move a little bit more like this. As you can see, it's, it's moving slightly to the left and the right. I can change that by simply making my X coordinates the same. So if I went one, four, five, and change that to one, four, five as well, then it would just literally be going straight up and down. There we go. Now, as you can see, it doesn't look like a fire at the moment. It's not animating itself. So I need to make sure that I have a separate bit of code that's making it look like a fire. I can't put my change costume in here because it would only change the costume every two seconds, which is when it bounces off that bit and that bit, which is too long. So we're gonna have a new bit of code, uh, which we'll need to start with the when the green flag is clicked. And we're gonna loop it and we'll use a forever loop for now. And we essentially want the fire to look like it's burning. So we're gonna go next costume, and we need to add in a slight delay. So we'll do 0.1 second again. And when we click the green flag this time, we should see our fire is burning. Doesn't that look cool? <laughs> 